cancer for six years. The former Purdue French professor has lost some things to the disease, but so far has won the war for her life. The cancer that she had, the first thing that happened was that it was in her palate, and so she wasn't able to speak. So for someone who made her living teaching French, that was a real, that's been a very painful thing. It's not the only battle she faces. Carolyn, seen here in a YouTube video, is also in an argument with the state over her home. On her blog, The Unbelievable But True Story of the Graces, she writes how she and her husband face eviction at any time as the Indiana Department of Transportation tries to relocate a road onto their West Lafayette property. Unfortunately, this time in her disease where she's very ill has coincided with the uh, 231 is moving around the city, and so unfortunately they're going to have to leave their home, which is it's just a devastating time for this to be happening. Colleagues of Carolyn's and Purdue's foreign language and literature department say while cancer may have stolen her voice, it can't take away her will to live. Friends are holding a 5K run called Race for Grace to help raise money for her mounting medical bills. Even with uh, insurance policies where you pay 10% or even a copay, uh, medical expenses can become just crippling, especially when they extend over a number of years. Carolyn can no longer use many words because of the cancer, but still friends say she speaks in other ways. She is one of the kindest, most generous people I know. Even in her illness, she reaches out and does things for people, so we're very happy to try to do something for her. The goal is to raise $2,000 for her medical expenses and show her how much the community cares with their actions.